the first at five. CBS Colorado was one of the first to tell you our state was considering introducing wolverines back into the wild. Yeah, now we have new information on that. Your reporter for the mountains, Spencer Wilson, spoke with a legislative push to get the high country weasel back into the mountains and learned why now is the time. This is not so much what can wolverines do for Colorado, it's more what can Colorado do for wolverines, a struggling population that would fit just fine up here in the Rocky Mountains where they used to live until former Coloradans killed them off. Wildlife groups and legislators have been waiting for this moment. Wolverines are now federally listed as a threatened species with U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Even though Colorado has had its reintroduction plan in place for decades, now these groups can move. You can skip through a lot of paperwork, essentially. Stefan Eckerness with the Denver Zoo says he knows how contentious our last reintroduction was with, you know, wolves. But this should be a no-brainer everyone can get behind. A high-altitude scavenger. They're cleanup crew, just like any scavenger out there. No bigger than 40 pounds and likes to keep to itself. In fact, it's really hard to find one even if you wanted to, and they stay out of trouble. There have only been two documented cases ever of wolverines preying on livestock. And they used to live here in Colorado until people wiped them out entirely. I think we have an ethical responsibility. Humans can be the problem, but we can also be the solution. Um, and this is a space where we can help bring the species back that ought to be in Colorado. This wouldn't go to a vote like wolves did. This has been submitted to the state legislature and will be introduced sometime this week with bipartisan support. It's a really big deal that we have a Republican co-sponsor for a bill to reintroduce carnivores. And it kind of shows how, how, we can, how we can use a species to unite Coloradans behind wildlife. So it's good for the wolverines who are looking for a spot to grow their numbers. The first rule of uh, intelligent tinkering is don't throw away any pieces. One of the last missing pieces is wolverines and we should bring them back. Wolverines are not just scavengers. They actually do feed on rodents as well, like marmots in the summertime. And the zoo says that the marmots are actually missing a predator, which could help bring some balance to the ecosystem. It might, it might not, but it couldn't hurt. In the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer has recently reported on stories from the Grand Mesa to Winter Park and Breckenridge. You can always reach out to him through cbscolorado.com.